This cluster of plants is a really great example of how when creating a native garden you want to plant with different bloom seasons in mind. Here we have St. Catherine's Lace type of buckwheat which will bloom in the summer. Then down here is the California type of fuchsia which will bloom in the fall with masses of orange flowers from about July through about November. This mass of beautiful pink flowers is a wildflower. It's the elegant Clarkia. And all of this, once the flowers are pollinated, will then turn to seed and then this will become more bare. Then behind me are Matilaha poppies. The Matilaha poppy is a great plant for erosion control. It is quite resistant to drought and it spreads by underground runners. Right now the Matilaha poppy is in bud and it's about to bloom. When it blooms, there are giant white flowers that are great for all kinds of pollinators and then when the flowers are pollinated, they make seeds for birds and other animals. And then directly behind me are the woolly blue curls, which are gorgeous bloom right now. This is a plant that once it's established should receive no summer water. So the best thing to do is to vary what's in your garden, uh, not only according to the leaf type and color, but also according to the bloom season. And that way you are providing habitat for pollinators year round. Thank you.